Now, as you can see, we done made it to the Airbnb. And we, oh, it's, I mean, I've got a little, a little afraid of heights. Hold on. We high. We up high. Let me not drop this phone, because, bitch, I, I can't fly down there and go get it. But, yeah, we at the Airbnb, as you can see, on the top floor. We in the hood. In the hood. In Dominican Republic. I ain't tell y'all where I was at. But, yeah. You hear the motorcycle, because you know when you hear the motorcycle like that, we in the hood. Close to it. Now that we left the Airbnb, we finna head on to this place called El Coconut. I don't know, it's El something. I just know, just start with a C, like coconut or something like that. But I like their art out here. They got some nice art. They got Tupac looking a little zesty, I don't know. They look like Rupac, I don't know. But hey, I'm, I'm not here to judge nobody. I'm not sure what this area called, I don't remember. Hey, I barely know where I live. But um, y'all can't lie, this, this art is nice. I wanna come out here and get me a, um, a portrait painted you know why not but this is the name of the restaurant right here restaurante restaurante el coconut el coconut el coconut el co coconut no. i don't know shit but they do got a nice aesthetic i like it um you know me one thing i'm gonna try when i go somewhere is some chicken i'm gonna try some chicken i don't give a damn if i don't eat nothing else i'm gonna eat that chicken and as you can see i got me some rice and beans with it and a salad and some fried plantains now we're on day two i ain't do good at this vlog and it I, I just got the skipping and the whipping so we on day two and we're gonna tour the local neighborhoods you know see their everyday life and see how they live you know to see the struggles and stuff so let's just go ahead and head there now on this tour we're being guided by my favorite host her name is glory i'm dancing my dominican auntie sure enough is and um i'm gonna go back just to see her but um, we walking around the neighborhood, as you can see, she showing us stuff around and showing us what's wet and, you know, she's just showing us around. Look at her, her hat, I love her. So as we walk around, I'm just going to explain what you see and show you what's wet. Hey, I don't get everything. One thing about me, I would be there and you can tell me something and i forget it three days later. I, I, hey, I just got to start grasping the information and holding on to it. I just, it just go in one ear out the other. It ain't even the fact that it don't be interesting. It just be going in one ear out the other. I just got low attention span, and I got the, I got to take a class on that. But we made it to the local neighborhood, as you can see. Um, we got the streets. You got the dog. You know, I love a good dog. I bet Blue be mad at me when I be traveling, playing with these dogs. But yeah, um, this is the neighborhood. These over here is like where people live. You know, as you can see, Auntie is walking out the door, going to her neighbor house, and up there is how they travel. Like this, how they get to one point to another. It's like, that's how they travel. That's their public transportation. And um, yeah, as you can see, this is the neighborhood. I don't know what much to tell you, but I'm outside. I'm in the neighborhood, shit. Yeah, I'm in the local neighborhood. But everybody was nice and sweet. You know, they stopped and hugged us and, you know, took pictures with us and stuff. You know, I love a good interaction out the country. You know, I, I like to feel loved out the country. You know, we already don't get enough love in the country as it is. Why not go out the country and get more love? Or get some love, shit. Look at her. I love her. I don't even know. I'll just be hollering about I love these folks. I don't even know them, but I don't know. I just like when people just happy. Just be happy. Don't be sad. Ain't no reason for you to be sad. It is a reason, but hey, I like how y'all just be happy. Look at, look, at, look at my auntie. She had some plantains in her hand, and I thought she was offering me some. And I said, you want me to try them? She snatched that bow back so quick. I'm sorry. I thought she was offering some. She said, plantains. I said, oh, you want me to try them? Because I know what they is. But yeah, the birds outside eating, you know, they don't, they said, don't get too close, bitch. I don't know you like that. Um, these are the, the um, service stations that got the convenience, convenience stores in the neighborhood. You know, he stocked up. He said, I'm not running low on stock. Come and come by. I like that. I like a good stocked up store. And um, yeah, as you can see, this is like the everyday life of living in the Dominican Republic. She over there making cooking, cutting up the chicken. I'm talking about she got the scale. I'm, they they got the whole nine out here. This is real life shit here. I'm talking about I like that. That knife sharp as hell though. How, you see how I just cut that? And she just smiling. Oh, she dangerous. She dangerous with that. Take that blade from her. Take it. We gonna keep it pushing. Now y'all know what's crazy. Before I started traveling, I didn't like, I'm thinking that everybody, everybody out the country is, is not black. And I, I'm thinking it's only black people in Africa and us that was brought to America. But hey. These people are skin color. These people is black in, in, in these other countries. Dominican Republic, um, Cuba. It, like, these these folks is black. And I it, it took me to travel to know that. And, and I like that. I love I, I love skin. I see our skin tone, skin color. I love that. We had another service station. They got the pack help there. Oh, like, listen. 
We ain't just black in America. Yeah, they be serving food. Yes, they serve it out of these containers. Hey, don't ask me. Don't ask me why they do it. I don't know. If if, if it don't look sanitary to you, it's sanitary to them. Cause I show sure eight some. And one thing I did notice, they got power lines, heavy power lines everywhere. I'm talking about they, they power lines is they power lining. I'm just trying to see. Now, have you have y'all ever had a blackout? But let's Shit. continue walking. As you can see, we in the neighborhood and walking past people's houses and front doors. Now, this is a, like everybody live in this neighborhood. Not everybody, but this is the neighborhood we're walking through. As you can see, she hanging up her clothes. Yeah. Um, it's very interesting. And on this tree right there, you probably can't see it. It's a sour sop. I don't even think we got these in the U.S., but sour sop is good for the health. It's good for a lot of stuff. Research it. I'm not Google. I, I'm not finna sit up here and explain to you what sour sop good for. If you want to know, Google it. But as you can see, all the houses and stuff. And um, right here, she said these peas, but I thought it was weed. Uh, I don't know. I started to grab and roll some up. I, I don't know where the peas at. And they got the barbershop here. It was closed, but this is the barbershop. As you can see, you need to, you need a haircut. Use that telephone number. Um, over here is what? What is weed? Another part of the neighborhood. Um, I don't know, just another part of the neighborhood. You see how they popped up on that curb? We're not the only ones that park on the curb to save your car. Don't hit my shit. But uh, yeah, I love the colors in it. Like in in out the country, they be painting their houses different colors. I'd be loving the chocolate looks and the different colors. Like, why? Don't be so boring, America. Add some life to your stuff. Oh, you're just so tired. But yeah, we in a hood, and I don't know if saying we in a hood is offensive. I'm I'm not coming off offensive. If it offends you, I'm sorry. Shit. I'm from the hood, and you're going to accept it. But y'all see them little bottles right there? That's, that's, that's the gas station. That's what they use to put gas in their car. Like, that, that's the gas station, literally. They got gas in them bottles, and that, that, that's, like, cool to me. I'm like, look at them making ways out here. Ain't no excuse. Make a way, because if there's a wheel, there's a wet. A motherfucking way. And right here, y'all know in America, they, they make dogs fight. They have Michael Vick. Pit bulls, they, they make dogs fight. Out here, they make the chickens fight. I've never seen no shit like that, but they make the chickens fight. And I wanted to see one so bad. That's, that's animal cruelty, but hey, I guess get it how you live. Y'all see that water? He's just swimming in the water. That's natural water. You see how clear it is? Just clear. And they actually use this water to brush their teeth, bathe, all that. And hey, they do what they do. Look at them. They training chickens. You see them? They training them. They getting them up. They getting ready to fight. Well, they, they not getting ready to fight. They just training them. But I found that amazing. I never knew chickens fight each other. I thought chickens unite. Hell, it's, it's supposed to be chickens versus, versus the humans. I don't know. We already eating you. Ain't we making you fight? I just feel like this unfair. But as you can see, I, another dog. I love animals. I love dogs. You know, he just looking like he need a home. Come on, I'll take you home. you got to take you home. Let's take him like a man. But yeah, um, as you can see, I'm just walking and strolling and patrolling. Just walking around like I'm from here. I blend in, though. I think they think I'm Haitian, too. Because a lot of Haitians live in Dominican Republic. And, you know, the Haitians are not really looked upon. The Haitians are kind of looked down on. Because the Haitians come from the struggles, and they said the Haitians come down there and you know bring bring their struggles with it and, and try to combine it with theirs, and they be like, "We not with that. Go go head on." And I, I seen the little girl out there cooking. I'm like, "Okay, you cooking at a young age? I don't think I was cooking that young." And I found it amazing. And how they basically made their own stove out of a fan. Like you see that? That's like a fan on um, top, and they made it into a, a grill. I like that. That's real creative. And we be complaining. We be mad because we ain't got a microwave. Bitch, if you don't make one. And I know right here at this table, it look, like, it look like they're doing some illegal activities. But it's nothing illegal. It's just candy. They're making candy. I don't know the name of it. They said it, but I forgot. Um, they're just making some candy. And earlier when I told you they're in the water, too, he out there bathing. I ain't want to have a camera all in his face, so I just had to get him from behind. And they out here playing cards. I don't know what game they was playing, but uncles was out there cutting up. They was into it. I damn near said, hey, scoot over. Let me get in. Teach me. Cause it looked real fun. All I needed was a beer out there. I don't even drink beer, but hey. What was they saying? I don't know. Use a translator. I'm not a translator. I, I, hey, I speak English. And a little bit of Spanish, más o menos. I know how to do it. Say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, ocho, nueve. Yes, shit. I, I, I know how to count to 100. Now That's we're going to get on this little boat right here. And he, he, he was up there fishing, I guess, because he had a couple of fishes on the boat. So we're going to get on the boat and go into this, what you call this, uh, a lake, a river? I don't know, but into this body of water. That's what, do we finna get on the boat and get into that? Now, now that water might look like some decaf coffee, but hey. We got in the boat and we, we 
you know, drifted across it. Um, I'm not sure if they fish. No, I think they do. They they be fishing out of that water. And I asked the um, I asked Gloria, the lady who hosting us, who walking us and showing us around the neighborhood, do she fish out the water? She said never. I don't blame you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be fishing out of a pot of coffee neither, cause I can't even lie. That don't even look like water. It look like potion. <laughs> now that we back on land, we just finished walking up around the neighborhoods and stuff. And this is like a across the street is a school over there, that yellow building. Um, and right here is the playground and stuff. You know, the the courts and all that. And they playing some game. I never seen this game. I don't know the name of it. I really didn't ask because I, hey. I wouldn't go understand it. So why ask something that you're not gonna understand? You know what, I take that back. I probably should have asked. I probably would have understood it, but hey, it's, it's the past now. After that, we went to a barber shop. She took us to a barber shop and played us a music video that they recorded out there. It looked real good and he came in performing. I said, I figured you was at the Coachella. He was he, he was at the halftime performance. I ain't, I'm not mad at him. Get your shit. Do your big one, Unc. I started to get her there to perform with him. But hey, yeah, I know I can't dance, so I'm not. I'm not finna dance myself. I'm, I can't. Cause we had another host that said it's hard to get girls if you don't know how to dance. Well, um, fuck that. How can I get bills paid? Talking about you gotta know how to dance to get girls. But hey, what you gotta know how to do to get bills paid besides working? Cause I'm just trying to see. I don't know what she's cooking, but I know they fried plantains and something else. I don't know. I didn't ask. Um, maybe I did, but I don't remember. Now we at um, Gloria House. She brought us to our, to her house and she cooked us some. And then she let me try this alcohol. It's called Mama Wanna. And that one called I don't know. But, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna try both. She was trying to tell me it was strong, but hey, I wasn't listening. But these are steps that she got to go up and down to get into her house. And they real, like, they real thin and, and steep. Like, look how they is. Like, look how spiral and, like, straight up they is. It's damn near like an elevator that you got to walk up. But, yeah, you got to take, you got you to take slow steps because you will get the rolling down that bitch. And I ain't no telling what'll happen if you get the rolling down them. Now we finna head to get on, what you call these? A trolley, a dolly? I don't know the name of it, but the, the, the sky train, shit. The sky maneuvering. We we got on that and we traveling to the other side of town because where we going? Um, oh yeah, we going back to what we what we met at. So that's how you get there. And um, yeah, that, that, that's how that worked. And you can see over the city, you can get from the next city to the other. In this right here. I don't know how much it is. She gave me a card to swipe and we got in there. I don't know how much it was. Don't ask me. This is my Dominican auntie. This is Auntia. Auntia, yeah. <laughs> she found my accent so funny. Okay, let's do an English sense. Okay. Store. I don't say store, I say stove. Uh -huh. I'm finna go to the stove. Say, okay. Say, I'm, I'm finna go to the stove. I feel you. No, no, no. It's hard. <laughs> He's <laughs> over there. Okay, um. He's over there. The stove. The stove. The stove. He's over there. 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 He's over that's it. We left our auntie. We headed on to Boca Chica Beach, and let me tell you, it's nice, but they be scamming. Oh, 
Now, I didn't record much at the beach, but I recorded the fish that I ordered, and there was a big piece of fish, and it was high as fuck. Now, that's why I say they scamming, because I ain't no way that piece of fish is supposed to be $60 just for the fish. Mind you, that's not including the rice and the beans and the drink that I had. Y'all scamming. They, 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 they knew it was foreign. So y'all overcharged us. But hey, I won't be back. I'll be back. But I won't be back to y'all restaurant. Anyway, we, we, we on day 39. And this is a short vlog because, hey, I, I got to get better with my vlogging. This is day three. We finna go hiking in Los Cacaos. Um, Actually, this right here is called a cacao. And this is how chocolate is made. It's made from this. And you have to crack it open like that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm Dominican right now. And on the inside, it's like these slimy little seeds. And, and it's actually sweet. Like the slime stuff is actually sweet. And the the seed that's on the inside, the chocolate part, to me it don't got a it don't got a taste. But the man he says bitter to him. It don't got a taste to me. But that's how they make chocolate. Now we finna go ahead and start this hike. And I never did a hike before. Now y'all know black folks don't do all that hiking through the woods and the forests and the Netherlands. But I'm finna go on a hike. I had no business, but it was fun though. And it was cold out there, bitch. I can't even lie. And we, Cause we in the mountains, and something for some reason in the mountains it be cold up there. And me not thinking, damn, in the mountains it do be cold. Plus that cold ass water, I was not ready. Now in this hike, you had the option to climb and hike, like you know, rock climb or go through the water. And I chose a, a rock climbing through a lot of it because that water was fucking cold. So and I tried my best to dodge as much as water I can. Because that, 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 that shit just too cold. Too cold for my spirit. So if I can get around without getting in the water, I'm going to go climb. Just like this. Yup. I, I look lost. And uh, hey, but hey, I'm going to make it work. Anything to dodge that water. That shit too cold. But yeah, let's finish up this hike. As you can see, they got the waterfalls and all that. This, this was a cool, nice place. I like this. Even though it was cold, I like it though. I would do it again when it's hot as fuck outside. Um... As you can see, you had to climb through the rocks and the waterfalls and all that. And on this next part right here, it's a snake. And hey, I don't fuck with snakes. I did try to touch it though, and that bitch snapped. And hey, and I snapped away. You ain't gotta worry about me again. And right here, I had the option to do the dive or climb down or go down the water slide. And it's obvious which one I chose because I'm down there recording. I'm not, I'm not doing that jump and getting that cold ass water. I'm not sliding down the water slide to get in the cold ass water. Cause look, this this me in the beginning. Look at my face. This is how I started off. One, yes, I doggy pedal. Two, yes, he had to come down there and get me because I was freezing and stuck. And three, bitch, my face is in distraught and in, in disbelief. Do you think I'm trying to get back in this water and 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 and, and start back looking like this again? No mammal ham, no turkey, no lake, bitch. I'm not getting in it. Like the shit was so cold to me when I got in the water, like. I, I know it's cold and I feel like it's cold, but my body feel like it's heating up. I'm like, damn, I feel like a 1992 box shave around this bitch, running hot with no antifreeze. But let's finish the hike. day four now today we're just gonna walk around uh, the area where we staying at the airbnb and then we're gonna go back and see gloria you know my, my dominican auntie you know we love her and um yeah we're gonna catch our flight after that now i had to go back to see gloria because i gave her a tip when i left yesterday and the tip went them but a dollar in usd and that was that, that was low down that was low down I, that, that was wrong so I had to go back and get her more. We went back over there and she cooked for us. She cooked chicken noodles and something else. I, I, I don't be knowing the names of it, but I know the shit was good. That was the best meal I had out there. And when I go back, I'm gonna need a whole nother plate. And then wouldn't be Tori if he didn't break out with a Spanish dance. I mean, you was why he was Dominican. But that's wraps y'all, that's the end of the vlog. Well, now we on this spirit flight heading back home. Yes, I took spirit. Now Frontier's worse, so don't judge me, judge your mama. Either type of tone, always take my breath away.